Hello everyone, it's um, Janine here with um, um, at my studio space um, in my kitchen with my canine partner Pugsley Lee next to me, um, my assistant's dog. Um, so today I thought we could think about um, doing some art inspired by um, the lockdown or um, you know this time in quarantine. Um, it's starting to ease here in the UK but um, you know we're still we're still in a time of, of lockdown and restrictions. Um, and um, I'm sure a lot of you in other parts of the world are in lockdown as well. Um, and I realise this is, you know, a very hard time for some people and, and this might not be for everybody, but um, I thought that some people may like to um, record their experiences of lockdown within, um, by some form of art. Um, you know, this is a, a time in history um, and I thought we could just have a look at um, some different ways that um, you may like to record that and kind of what you might like to record. This is like um, different for everybody, you know, everybody would have had different experiences in lockdown, but I'm going to try and think of different things that may inspire you to um, create your own work, but um, you know, please, please feel free to think of other things and think about your, your experience in lockdown. Um, I don't want to uh, dictate in any way as to what people should do in this. This is free and open. I'm just here to hopefully inspire you and um, get you being um, creative. So I hope you're all staying safe and well at this time and let's um, get some ideas together and uh, hopefully create some art. So for me personally, when um, sometimes when I start an art project, I like to start with a brainstorm. Um, or maybe, um, you know, called a spider web. Anyway, this is my um, brainstorm here. And as I said, you know, these things may not all be relatable to you, but um, these are personal to me and you can do your own ones and maybe some of yours will be the same as mine. But, um, so I've been thinking about my garden. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a garden. I've really been enjoying um, the my outdoor space and my flowers. Um, then there's the rainbows that we've been seeing in um, everybody's windows and um, I did a video on this uh, a couple of weeks or so ago um, so I'll try and remember to link that in the description or if I'm able to I might even try one of the little cards up in the corner but I've not done that before but have a go so I'll link, link that somewhere. Um, and then a slightly, maybe seems slightly random one to you. Um, but I've been thinking about like under the sea and how all the fish and the wildlife, you know, they're all still still free and they, they don't know about the lockdown. Um, and actually in some cases they're more free than normal. I've been hearing of um, like goats coming into towns and stuff and wondering where we all are and now they're even more free than normal. But um, yeah, I've been specifically thinking about under the sea and how... Um, yeah, the freedom that the under the sea still has. Um, and also um, brick walls and the home. Um, the, the home was quite, for anybody, any of you that know my own um, personal artwork that I do, um, the home has been quite, uh, or at least used to be quite a significant theme in my artwork. Um, and I used to do um, brick walls along with that. Now, brick walls could represent you being like trapped but I was also thinking about the beauty in the brick walls and where like you know different plants might break through or uh, different different things like that um so yeah there's lots of different things for you to think about and um I probably recommend that you do a brainstorm on a bigger sheet of paper than this one was quite small and you know there's plenty of other ideas that you can come up with that I've not put down here. I mean, you could do something abstract. It doesn't need to be figurative. It could be, um, you know, shapes, colours. Um, yeah, whatever kind of reminds you of this period in time. Um, so I've started on a few pieces of my own personal artwork. This is um, a start of um, a sea piece um, that I'll be carrying on with but I just thought it might be helpful for some of you to see what I've started and these awesome little cutouts of houses um, 
that I'm going to decorate in some way. They're just a little, you know, whimsical type, you know, not, not meant to be exact, just fun little houses that I thought I'd do some art on. And here's another bigger one here. I thought I decided to do a bigger one because I thought I might be able to put some more details into that, maybe um, do some a window with the, the rainbow in the window possibly, um, but we'll see where they go. So I've now um, put together some images to inspire you. So um, these are all royalty free images from Google, so no use of copyright. So these images are fairly straightforward. You've got the rainbows, um, what the virus supposedly looks like under a microscope. Um, there's some doodles there of toilet paper, um, gloves, um, and face mask, and um, a doodle of medicine, I guess, there. Um, so I'm guessing that, you know, maybe you might want to take it deeper, but I just thought I would put those in there. Um, so on this screen, um, there is um, images that represent the home. Um, obviously we've all been spending a lot of time in our homes recently um, and I've got some images of gardens and flowers like even if you don't have a garden perhaps you've been enjoying flowers on your, your walks. Um, there's a little um, man there that says um, stay home. Um, so um, a lot of people say to me, oh, I can't draw, but actually, you know, even if you draw a stick man and lots of little stick men doing different things, you know, that, that can be fun and, and a way of expressing yourself. So on this next slide, I thought we could look at hobbies. Um, a lot of you may have taken up some new hobbies. This is in no way meant to be any kind of pressure. Like I know um, some people have felt very pressurised to be taking up new things. Um, you know, this is no way pressure like um i feel we have to remind ourselves that um this is a unprecedented time it's it's a difficult time so you know even if your experience has um just been you know resting or you know doing different things and you've not been able to take up your hobbies you know there's nothing wrong in that you know we need time to adjust to what's going on around us but um I, as this is, is to inspire lots of different people you know some of these images will um, mean something to you and, and some won't. So we have um, different hobbies um, down here from sewing, um, music, reading, art, um, jigsaw puzzles. Um, I put a phone down as um, that's been quite a big theme for me making sure that I'm keeping in contact with people. Um, and then we have um, a screen which looks like maybe a Zoom screen if any of you are doing video calling or Skype. Um, I think that's been quite a big thing for people, video calling, in order to keep in touch with people. Um, and then there's an interesting doodle down there of a house with lots of different technology in it. I thought maybe that's interesting because um, a lot of us have been having to embrace new technologies. So on this next screen there's some images that to me represent hope and faith. Obviously these um, can um, mean different things to different people, so um, if, if these aren't images that spark inspiration for you, then you can always go and find um, your own. But um, to me, um, a candlelight represents hope. Um, I've got an image showing light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I've got some images of um, clapping hands to represent the... Um, NHS clap that we did in the UK. It stopped a couple of weeks ago, but um, that was a really nice thing we were doing for a few weeks where we were showing our appreciation to the NHS and I felt that it also brought um, communities together while we were um, in this time where we were quite separated. It, it brought us together. And for me, I'm a Christian um, and I go to church in um, Ely um, and I'm really grateful that um, St Mary's and Ely, the church I go to, has um, been doing some great services online and it's been possible for me to um, continue to um, participate and be part of that while in the lockdown. I'll leave um, links a link to their channel in the description below if you feel you'd like to um, listen to that. 
um, and I guess some of you may have come from their channel as um, they've been very kindly putting some of my videos up on their YouTube channel because I normally do uh, my Creative Minds group um, or one of my Creative Minds group um, in Elia at the church. Um, this is just a close-up screenshot to show you how, if you're um, not so familiar with YouTube, to show you how you can make the video into full screen so that you can see these um, images that I've just shown you um, a bit easier. So um, if you um, look at your video screen and you look in the um, bottom right hand corner um, there's um, a symbol that you can make it full screen in this image it is the last one on the right hand corner so if you just click on that symbol then you can go into full screen mode and it might be easier for you to see these images so feel free to um, pause um, at any point you know rewind this video and go back and pause so you can um, see the images more clearly if you need longer to look at them and, and think about them Okay, so I just wanted to give you some um, idea of how to take the images that we've looked at forward. You don't necessarily need to um, draw draw from them. You know, this isn't you know necessarily all about drawing. As I mentioned earlier, um, so many people say to me, "Oh, I can't draw," but you know, you could just be um, maybe inspired by some of these images or. You know, maybe you don't use the images at all. Maybe they've triggered off some other um, ideas for you. But um, you know, maybe just be inspired by the images. Um, maybe if you um, you know, felt inspired by your garden, you might take some flowers and um, some of the petals from flowers in your garden and press them and um, um, stick them on a piece of paper and make some kind of art out of that. Um, you know, there's there's lots of different creative ideas. It doesn't have to just be about drawing. Um, and as I touched on earlier, you could do something abstract. Um, we looked at the um, picture earlier of what the virus looks like under a microscope. You could um, do some drawing or doodles of that and like repeat it, make it into um, make it into an abstract pattern. Um, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is please don't let the word drawing scare you, there's lots of other ways of going about this. Um, you could do collage, so um, traditionally collage is maybe where you take a magazine and rip up certain colours of um, paper from the magazine, um, or you could do a photo montage which is more where you take a magazine and then um, cut up pictures from the magazine and stick them together in, into making your own, own picture. Um, so yeah, you know, there's there's lots of different ideas and, and ways of doing things. Um, you know, something for everybody there. I hope to um, run with, and hopefully, you know, something I've said in here is sparked off some inspiration, and um, you can go off and uh, be creative. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and um, I'll speak to you soon in my next video. And hope you're staying safe and well. Okay, bye for now.